Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Welcome to this episode of Tech Tips. So your system stopped working and you're getting either a P4 or a P5 error code. Well, let's take a look at what these errors represent and some possible ways to fix it. The P4 and P5 error codes both revolve around water protection located at the indoor unit. There's a few subtle differences between the two, which we'll expand on. The P4 error code means we have an open float switch in one of our accessories that may have been installed. Accessories such as the condensate pump's built-in water safety or our overflow pan safety. The safeties are wired through a connector on the control board called CN4F. There's a normally closed set of dry contacts on the board that can be cut and run in series with your float switches. When a float switch opens, it opens that dry contact and causes the P4 error code. The P5 error code is very similar to the P4, meaning it revolves around water protection. The slight difference is that the P5 means we have an internal safety that's gone off, as opposed to an accessory. Let's take the SEZ unit to my right as an example. The lift mechanism in here removes condensate. If that pump were to fail, water will overflow and eventually trip the alarm, signaling a P5. The built-in water flow device is wired in through either connectors CN4F or CN31. This is going to depend upon which model of equipment you're working with. In this example, we're taking a look at a CN4F connector, and these two wires would represent the internal float switch of the system. Now that we know what a P4 and a P5 error code mean, let's take a look at some common reasons why the error may happen. Simple things like a clogged drain line or a drain trap Blocked airflow could cause water to overflow. We could also have a failed condensate pump. Improperly installed drain lines that cause air trapping or the control board not providing electrical output to power up the pump mechanism. Let's use this SEZ unit and go over some steps in troubleshooting. The first step I take is to disconnect the drain line from the air handler and leave a bucket underneath it. This eliminates the drain during troubleshooting and allows me to focus on the pump mechanism. The next step I'll do is to fill the drain pan with water. You want to make sure you fill it with enough water that it's going to be able to actually pump. Once the drain pan is full of water, I'll take the SWE jumper and move it to the other side. The SWE jumper is a test run. This will test the condensate pump as well as the indoor blower motor. Once this is engaged, we'll want to see if water starts to trickle out of the drain line. If it does, then we know that our pump is working fine. If no water comes out of the pump, then we have an issue with either the pump or high voltage feeding it. For additional information, please refer to the equipment service manual. It can be found at www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's a specific topic you'd like to see covered in future tech tip videos, please feel free to leave a comment below.